Welcome to Duran Riders Raw Interviews. Tonight we have a special guest, um, a long time raw fooder. This, uh, my friend has been a raw fooder the whole life. They're, they're one of the oldest raw fooders on the planet in terms of the, their generations. Um, they believe that cooked food is swag and they believe that humans are the only species on the planet that cook their food and that's, that's, that's a fact. So, no further will I continue, I'll just introduce you now to a special little raw food friend that you might even know yourself. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Cicada, my friend. It's just hatched out of the ground, which is below our tent here. So it's walked out of the ground, it's walked up our tent, and it's hatched out of its little pre-wing cicada stage so about two hours ago this little guy didn't have wings and now cicada has wings to fly away that's pretty cool isn't it so cicada how long have you been a raw fooder all your life okay do you have any problems with like cravings okay no um what about pro where do you get your protein from to build like your strong wings and stuff you eat biologically adapted food for cicadas okay makes sense so that'd be like me eating fruits and vegetables as a human. Yeah, okay. What about B12? You just eat natural foods, okay. Do you have any like, um, like peer pressure, stuff like that? How, what does your family react to you on this diet? No comment, okay, wow. So that's pretty cool, you're inspiration. You're looking pretty healthy, so maybe it's working for you. Wow, do you think you could probably do better on cooked food or... Yeah, I don't think so either. No worries. Alright, thanks for your time. So yeah, we've got a little cicada friend giving us, you know, infinite reasons to be grateful, infinite inspiration to be a raw fooder because often people get into the rut of saying, I'm the only raw food person in my community or my state or it's like, you know, I'm so alone, I can't do this, I don't have the support, and they use that as some sort of BS excuse. You know, BS standing for belief systems, that's all it is. You know, we make this raw food path as hard or as easy as we want. We choose how, you know, intense or rocky or scary or blissful or peaceful or abundant or vibrant or excellent it's going to be. So, you know, what we think about comes about. Focus on what you want to achieve. You know, focus on the solutions, don't focus on the problems, you know, that's the problem people get into, they're just like, oh my god, I can't do it, I'm so alone. All they have to do is stop, be present, ask what they're grateful for, and this will automatically draw them to the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, you're more likely to go, wow, what, what sort of bird is that? That's so pretty, or, oh my god, there's a spider crawling on my leg, or, wow, that cricket really sounds beautiful today, and... Oh my god, did you see the apple just fell off the tree? Let's go check it out. You know, and that's the sort of mentality that's going to, you know, create a life worth living. Okay, see ya.